hello everyone in uh, last class we have discussed the first system of uh, measurement of uh, fabric handle characteristics so we have mentioned that uh, two uh, commercially available uh, fabric handle characteristics measurement systems are there one is kesf another is fast today we will discuss uh, another uh, method of measurement which is fabric handle by or fabric feel by extraction principle so it's not very new it's a uh, actually it's a very common practice to know the fabric softness or fabric uh, handle for many years using the extraction principle okay so it's actually it's a useful uh, technique to judge the fabric handle it's a, a quantitative value we get very old techniques among the ladies so where the fabrics are being pulled particular scarf or any soft uh, type of fabrics are being pulled muslin through the ring and uh, judging the overall load required to pull the fabric okay so uh, this similar technique similar principle is being used here to know the fabric handle or fabric feel related characteristics so this uh, system this principle is not new so here the a circular fabric of 25 cm diameter is actually held by a pin at the center and is drawn through a cylindrical nozzle okay highly polished nozzle made up uh, maybe steel maybe any other uh, material maybe plastic the force required to extract the fabric through the nozzle is measured okay and the sample here while pulling through the nozzle the sample is deformed there is a complex deformation okay at low stress level okay where is a, that may be a tensile deformation may be shearing deformation may be bending deformation there are action of uh, uh, friction between the nozzle uh, uh, surface and the fabric so all complex uh, deformation takes place during the pulling and which ultimate which are actually related with the fabric handle characteristics and all this uh, different types of deformation gives one unique value of the pulling force and from this pulling force we can get idea about the the feel of the fabric so so the principle here is that it's a there is a, a nozzle it's a nozzle is there it's a hole is there and this is the grip at this point it's a grip at the center if it is a circular fabric and the fabric is pulled through this nozzle okay and the load cell detects the amount of load okay amount of load during the pulling there is and as i have mentioned this system this principle is uh, of measurement uh, it's exist for a long time but this nozzle extraction principle is also not new okay it is actually proposed in say in 1930s by piers who has proposed this principle first then kawabata proposed in uh, 1980s then postel who is uh, uh, pro who has proposed this principle in 1989 that the following characteristics of fabric deformation have to be captured by measuring the 
the force okay this measurement at a by low yet complex stress at large deformation so at large de when we we keep on pulling the fabric at large deformation this low and complex stress we can measure which is nonlinear in nature and the frictional friction and hysteresis we can measure. So, the present approach which we have adopted here it is our idea is to measure a fabric handle or fabric fill with a simple and quick measure objective assessment and it should be user friendly there should be a single value of fabric fill value that we have developed we have got a uh, fabric fill factor that we will discuss here and this fill factor we have measured compared with the subjective assessment. So, single value getting a single value was our objective and one real time gra graph we can get while uh, pulling we will get a real time graph of uh, pulling force and uh, displacement. We can test wide range of fabric from uh, very stiff fabric to very flexible fabric we can measure in the same instrument and moreover this instrument should be as simple as that a uh, unskilled and unskilled soft floor worker can handle because this is this uh, using this fabric one can compare the softness characteristics of fabric and the instrument should be cheap enough and so that small scale industries they can afford. Other instruments commercially available instruments we have seen these instruments are uh, very expensive. So, we cannot uh, the industries normally they cannot afford and next another problem is that those uh, instruments are so complex the actually measurement is very complex. So, the repeatability is very difficult and analysis is difficult. So, uh, this approach was that it is a, uh, a simple instrument a unique an unique data should uh, we should get and it will uh, we should get a uh, unique value. So, that it gives the fabric handle. So, the approach we can if we see here with the animation if we see this is the nozzle it is a, a ring type nozzle here it is a fabric holder this one is fabric holder which is connected with the uh, load cell okay. and there is a clamp which is holding the load cell and the, there is a traverse arrangement this is a holder it is a cross head which moves up and down and the fabric after cutting it is placed through the nozzle and gripped by the fabric holder. And as the and the nozzle has got uh, it is a special type nozzle which has got two extra load cells. Okay. In case of when we extract fabric we will have a longitudinal load which is sensed by the load cell 1 and also during extraction it exerts radial force that radial force that is measured by two load cells uh, load cell 2 and load cell 3 two radial direction force and we get total picture of the uh, load uh, value during the extraction. Now, let us see this is the fabric sample which is first inserted through the ring and it is uh, gripped by the fabric holder. This is uh, the placing of the fabric. Now, when we start the nozzle extraction the x axis is the it is a time 
and here this is the radial force and this is the extraction longitudinal force. So, that so this is the load uh, cell 3, 2 and extraction is taking place. So, we will get we get three different graphs this is from the load cell 1 the extraction uh, at peak this is the uh, radial direction 1 and radial direction 2 and mean of this 2 we can get. So, this is the basic principle of this instrument. So, this is the nozzle if you can see the picture this is the nozzle and this is the fabric holder here and uh, this is the fabric sample. So, here as we mentioned it is a compression, bending, biaxial extension, friction all complex uh, deformation uh, take place and ultimately we get one, one parameter okay. complex stress non linearity is there. So, this is the uh, prototype of the instrument. So, if we see the video of this uh, testing in the laboratory. So, here if we see that it is a this is the instrument. Here this is a nozzle one okay, fabric holder and the panel this is a nozzle. Computer monitor is there. Now, the fabric is being pulled through the nozzle. And here we are getting graphs. So, uh, extraction force and this uh, the graph. So, and now as soon as it is uh, out, so the test is completed. Okay. So, we get the complete curve. So, we can uh, we have tested. So, different fabrics we can test this is another fabric. So, different types of extraction force and uh, displacement curve we get and this uh, uh, the x axis is uh, it is a displacement. Okay. So, this uh, commercial instrument is also available here and uh, these are the uh, different uh, parts as we have explained earlier also. So, the basic purpose of this instrument is to measure the fabric fill objectively. So, we can sense the fabric fill subjectively as we know. So, it is a objective measurement of fabric fill. So, it eliminates all the subjectivity giving one unique data to select the optimum fabric by comparing the fill. Okay. So, if we want to select a fabric it, it cannot because that value the fabric fill value or extraction force value. We cannot actually use this value as a um, uh, benchmark. Only thing here we can use this value as a, uh, to compare with other value other. Value. So, for example, we have given uh, 10 finish application 10 different types of finish for a on, on a particular fabric. Okay. We want to know which finish is the best as far as fabric feel is concerned, fabric softness is concerned that comparative value we can get. But if we want to know the what is the value that value is immaterial here, what is the finish uh, the com, uh, softness value that particular that value is actually immaterial here. Here we can give uh, we can get comparative value if we have certain number of say. Uh, 10 uh, different uh, fabric we can tell okay out of this 10 fabric which one is softer okay but that uh, getting a particular specific value it's immaterial because the extraction force depends on many other factors like, like uh, a fabric which is uh, in a little bit uh, stiffer in nature say like a denim fabric 
we cannot compare denim trouser fabric with a fabric cotton fabric with uh, for, for a used for a say shirt that uh, cotton fabric used for shirt uh, the light cotton fabric used for shirt will always give lower extraction force denim fabric will always give um, higher extraction force but that doesn't mean uh, denim fabric is uh, feel wise it's a uh, it's a uh, very harsh it's not that if we have to compare we have to compare denim fabric with denim fabric so that's uh, the if we can say that's the limitation of this uh, system but it works within a particular set of fabric material we cannot compare between uh, different family within same family we have to compare we can tell this fabric is best out of this lot okay so to check the change in fabric feel after chemical or mechanical treatment so that this instrument we can tell okay after some chemical of fabric we have uh, given some chemical treatment so this uh, fabric will give idea about the change in fabric feel that same fabric but different chemical or mechanical finish if we give this fab this instrument will give us idea about the change in the uh, feel of that fabric the feature is that is a, that is a, is a quick assessment and it's user friendly it's a single test for a fabric feel value not like other complex system where a large number of test value we have to get we have to test the bending we have to test the friction compression extension then we get a certain value but here we get a single value a real time graph it's uh, it gives and different nozzle diameter we can use so for very stiff fabric we can use a larger nozzle diameter or very limpy fabric or say uh, knitted uh, or weft knitted fabric we can use very small uh, nozzle stack for non woven fabric we, so wide range of fabric we can use by changing the uh, nozzle uh, diameter different nozzle material we can use different operating speed we can uh, change depending on the type of application and the instrument is uh, cheap instrument the its idea was uh, so the potential users of this instrument is dyeing and finishing industries if the finishing and dyeing uh, finishing industries they want to develop some uh, the uh, some particular finish for uh, better tactile uh, sensation they can uh, use this instrument okay after dyeing or after finishing what is the change in fabric feel or fabric handle characteristics we can uh, this instrument can give idea the weaving industries they can uh, set their parameter uh, for different uh, handle characteristics garment manufacturing industries they can uh, use uh, to, to buy the their uh, raw material the fabric buying house they can use testing laboratories and academic and research institutes they can use for their research okay and it's a possibility of evaluation of different other products so not only fabric uh, textile material for different other industries one can use this uh, so paper industries or some other industries this instrument can be used now the typical graph as we have seen in uh, the video this is the typical graph out of the the instrument okay displacement x axis shows the time and we can convert it to displacement and y axis is the force this is the extraction force these are the radial force and these are the parameters we can use to develop fabric feel okay the area under the extraction curve okay the unloaded fabric across the orifice that is nozzle for extra a that is length of the so i can we can discuss here so this are the, this is the length that is that uh, up to this length a distance there is no load that that is the a distance and this is the area under the um, a, a curve that is area under the this uh, extraction okay similarly the peak distance for extraction curve so de so this is the de extraction curve 
this is the peak distance. Okay. So, radial peak distance peak height of extraction P e. So, area under the radial curve okay, radial uh, extra, uh, force curve uh, peak distance for radial curve and peak height for it. So, these are the parameters all these parameters are being used to measure the fabric fill factor. So, using the uh, statistical technique we have developed one equation which is actually the which gives the fabric fill tester we will discuss. Okay. So, fabric fill value which is so the research study we have carried out. So, the material which we have used uh, commercial denim fabric from one industry we have used for measuring the fabric fill effect of functional softener we have used and different denim finish treatment a particular fabric was selected the fabric constructional parameters these are the fabric constructional parameters. Okay. This is open end ends per inch peaks per inch fabric width and these are the this is the twill fabric. So, these are the different specification functional softener has been used silicon softener uh, time is a pH level and dosage 20 gram per liter 40, 60 and 80 gram per liter this uh, different doses has been uh, applied. Now, this uh, fabrics have been subjectively studied actually assessed. So, subjective assessment it is uh, basically at a 5 scale point has been rating scale has been provided. So, 1 means it is very soft, 2 it is a uh, better than uh, it is a, it is a softer okay, soft and 5 is uh, least soft it is a harsh fabric. There are actually uh, the evaluators are of two groups. So, textile person who knows about textile uh, who has some knowledge about textile uh, the 10 evaluators have been taken and those who does not have any uh, textile knowledge. Okay. So, they have been uh, 10. So, total uh, 21 evaluators have been used um, actually. So, they have been asked to rank the material. So, this uh, actually the uh, fabric ranks increases with the this is the ranking. So, the raw fabric gives the lowest uh, rank. So, as we go on increasing the the softener content softener concentration the uh, ranking increases that that the 80 gram per liter it gives the highest rank that by softness wise it gives the the subjective assessment it uh, it is basically uh, it is a harsh fabric it is a maximum and this is the very soft fabric. So, it is it is actually for a different uh, group it gives the uh, uniform uh, rating we got okay. and now the objective rating we have got. So, objective rating it is a raw means without any finish without any finish. So, uh, radial average radial value radial force we have got and average that uh, extraction force longitudinal force. So, this uh, we have got this is little bit higher value and uh, that this is the peak force by the instrument. So, uh, for uh, 220 GPL 40, 60 and 80. So, what we have observed? So, with the increase in concentration of uh, softener subjectively it has it has uh, given the softer filling which we have got and this is also indicated by the extraction force. So, extraction force is the indicator of the subjective filling. Okay. So, but what uh, the basic observation was that although this is giving um, indication, but can we get uh, can we get some uh, better uh, indicator which will give us a clear idea about the the subjective rating subject of fabric fill. So, uh, then we started working on that on the uh, graph okay. and here we have taken 10 different 
finishing and we have taken again denim earlier study what we have used the we have changed the concentration of a particular finish. Okay. But here we have taken 10 different types of finishes which is actually common for denim raw fabric, raw washed and decised which is only decised which is uh, marked as sample number 1. Sample number 2 is enzyme washed for 60 minutes, sample number 3 is enzyme washed and heavy bleach then washed and enzyme bleach and tint wash, enzyme tint wash, enzyme ice washed, enzyme ball washed, stone wash for 75 minutes enzyme and slide beach wash. So, these are the different type of wash fabric and what we have got this fabrics we have again actually tested subjectively by large number of actually evaluator. Here we have taken a large number of evaluators. The evaluators are of different group, 8 different groups of evaluator and total you will we have total we have more than 100 evaluators 123 evaluators assessor. So, this total 123 assessors they have been trained trained for the softness value and here our idea was to evaluate the fabric in 10 different scales. 10 different scales what we have got the softest high moderate low. So, if you feel the fabric is very soft then also you rate the fabrics in high moderate low. Similarly, it is medium soft it is high moderate low soft high moderate low and hard if it is very hard you cannot place anywhere that you can. So, the evaluators they have not been actually disclosed the type of fabric okay. they have been only asked you give us the overall softness value and this is the rating scales have been developed okay. and the evaluators are of, of different background of different age group. Okay. So, and total 123 evaluators have been taken here. So, scale 1 which we know it is a softest fabric and scale 10 it is a harshest fabric is there okay. and what we have got here it is a this fabric it is a it is almost 10 which is harshest fabric which is basically ultimately which is not being washed fabric and uh, fabric softest fabric is this one okay. and uh, we have also measured the correlation between the different among the different um, evaluators and this evaluation the softness evaluation fabric field evaluation is it is a subjective evaluation is the same uh, fabrics we have tested by the instrument and we have got different the different uh, curves and from there as we have mentioned that P E W E this P R D R these are the parameters which we have got from the extraction curve nozzle extraction curve that is a and a radial force and energy and uh, work done. So, all from this curve uh, through the um, statistical analysis we have got the this is the equation which gives the fabric field factor and this is uh, this uh, values we have got by the car fitting and this fabric fill factor the values have been selected in such a fashion that it is uh, actually scaled in such a fashion this fill factors range is between 1 to 10. So, that we can uh, uh, in our uh, subjective assessment we have got the value of subjective assessment from 1 to 10 the field factor also has been actually converted in terms of 1 to 10 
So, 10 means hardest value and 1 means it is a softest value and we, we have seen this the correlation between subjective assessment and uh, fabric fill factor. This is the fabric it is a very good correlation we have observed okay. and uh, this subjective and assessment of fabric fill and so from here we can uh, we can uh, claim that this instrument gives very good uh, subjective assessment so very good actual indication of the actual fabric fill in use okay and where we have got the correlation coefficient is close to 1 basically so perfect 0 0.977 is the correlation coefficient we have got but this uh, this fabric field factor it is a we have to analyze uh, we have to get the from the total curve. So, uh, so uh, the software is there. So, after just after testing a particular and if we feed this fabric field factor this value equation the automatically the software will give us the fabric field factor. This equation is developed for the denim fabric of that particular range. Now, then we thought that okay, let us try to correlate with the subjective uh, assessment value with the peak extraction force, but which we have got it is a correlation coefficient is we have received it is a much lower. Although it gives certain indication, but it, it does not actually give the um, uh, it correlate well with the subjective. So, our recommendation is that it is a ultimately we have to analyze the total curve then we can get the total fabric fill factor and this fill factor is correlated with the subjective assessment. Then what we have tried we have tried say the average radial force and average extraction force that we have tried to correlate. So, uh, this correlation is uh, uh, close to 0.99. So, the idea is here. So, whether do we need the radial force measurement. So, although it gives the idea about the extraction force average extraction force gives a clear idea about the radial force also. So, we can make the instrument much simpler to have only uh, extraction force and also the equation much simpler to give the uh, get the value of the um, uh, subjective assessment. Then we have tried to correlate this extraction force, extraction force with the different parameters we have uh, which we can receive from the KESF instruments. So, ultimately finally, what we have observed uh, we have concluded this basically there is no such pro proper correlation between the uh, extraction force or uh, this um, each of the other parameters individual parameters. So, that we can conclude that uh, the uh, extraction through extraction value the whatever extraction force we are getting it is a complex com complex combination of all this it is not the with the individual value we cannot compare with the any of the individual values, but it gives a complex combination of uh, uh, different uh, parameters and uh, ultimately it gives a unique value which we have actually seen it is very well correlated with the subjective assessment of the fabrics. Okay. So, now, we will discuss the various uh, this this parameters how these parameters are actually reflecting the actual fabric we will give some now we will take some example of actual fabrics. The fabric feel fabric uh, tactile sensation and how these parameters are related. So, fabric parameters affecting the tactile sensations are bending shear fabric roughness scratchiness fabric uh, prickle sensations, fabric clinginess and fabric warm and 
uh, warmness and heaviness. So, all these uh, sensations now we will discuss and how the fabric para fiber and fiber yarn and fabric parameters affect all these sensations, bending related sensation, shear related sensation, fabric roughness related sensation, all these sensation are uh, um, related with the fiber characteristics, yarn characteristics and fabric character characteristics, these uh, things we will discuss now. Okay. So, bending and shear all this character we can directly relate it with the KESF value, fabric hand value okay. and, uh, and type of fabric finishes. So, these things we will discuss one by one and uh, the fabric uh, parameters actually which are uh, which affect the uh, which is affected by the uh, type of yarn used, type of structure, type of number of ends per inch, peaks per inch okay. and ultimately it gives the senses tactile sensation. Now, here now we will discuss the one study which actually shows the effect of weave density the uh, ends per inch and peaks per inch, the amount of twist, the uh, change in twist and uh, yarn count, how all these parameters affect the fabric tactile sensation. Uh, like uh, as we, are, um, uh, we have mentioned here, these are the tactile sensation, roughness and all this, fabric length. So, here in this study polyester fabrics have been taken, polyester oven fabric. So, polyester it is not the staple fiber, it is a polyester filament oven fabric of different weave density, different twist structure, different yarn count has been taken okay. and it is tested by objective evaluation using first it is using it is a Kawabata system and then we will discuss various studies. So, one of the very commonly used fabric for a dress material it is a taffeta. What is taffeta? It is a it is a most basic fabric which consists of twistless continuous filament in both warp and wave direction where waved yarn density was changed. So, this is the fabric made up. So, this is the taffeta fabric the, uh, the fabric uh, with the picture which is uh, from the look we can uh, make it is a shiny because of the it is a twistless twistless filament made of polyester filament both warp and wave direction. Okay. So, effect of twist is not here, it is a twistless. So, weave density is changed because it is a waved yarn density is changed. So, waved yarn number of peaks per inch has been changed here. Okay. So, taffeta is a it is a crisp smooth plain oven fabric made of silk. Normally, it is made of silk or synthetic fiber here this fabric is made of synthetic fiber. Okay. So, this fabric is actually characterized in terms of it is a crispy fabric, it is a smooth but crispy fabric why is it crispy? It is a made of a filament twistless filament crispiness means it is it gives some stick slip. Smooth fabric, it is a twistless smooth plain oven fabric. So, this is the type of it is a nature of this fabric, okay. and here the variability is that we have changed the it has the wave density, it is a from open structure to compact structure. So, it is a taffeta. Next fabric is that again it is a crepe. De, chain. Creep the chain, it consists of waved 
yarn of continuous filament with high twist. So, earlier we have seen both the yarns were twistless here warp yarn is a low twisted yarn it may be twistless or a continuous filament or very low twisted yarn. So, you can use normally twistless yarn warp and weft yarn a continuous filament with very high twisted. So, due to this high twist it it creates little bit creep. So, creep design. So, it has small creep on the surface. So, this small creep on the surface due to high twist in the weft it gives certain feeling. So, we can just imagine the fabric earlier when there is no twist and the fabric with weft yarn of different twist high twist will give different feeling different tactile sensation. The weft yarn density and weft yarn twist are changed. Here the density of weft yarn that is the weft number of weft yarn per unit length is changed. Okay. So, per uh, weft yarn density and twist in weft yarn is also changed. So, this is the uh, variable here. So, weft yarn density and weft yarn twist is changed here. Okay. Next category of fabric is used here it is a georgette it is a very commonly used fabric where it consists of high twisted yarn in both warp and weft okay. made of continuous filament. So, again due to twist in both high twisted yarn in both warp and weft the filling of the fabric the uh, tactile sensation of the fabric will be different from that of crepe design. So, it has got two types of georgettes have been used it is a it is a smaller uh, level and higher level of the georgette 1 and georgette 2. So, there are other fabrics so other uh, so we will discuss in the next class. Okay. So, thank you.